Hello, today we're going to look at how to create a level of effort or hammock activity in Microsoft Project. Um, for those of you coming from Primavera P6 to Microsoft Project, you will notice that uh, we don't have a task type for level of effort like you do in P6 for hammocks. So, but it's quite easy to create it. There are, well, for me anyway, there are two ways of doing that, of get of um, converting an activity to a task to level of effort. So there's a recommended way. I mean, if I display the predecessors and successor, this, so there's this article on Microsoft website, how to build a hammock task. Yep. I'll add the link to this article, to the blog post and the description of this video. So the recommended ways, I'm going to use, follow the steps outlined here. And then there's an alternative method, which is common in the subsea construction world, which is what I'm used to. So as you mean, I've got this group of tasks, I've got to subtasks in group one, subtasks in group two, and for group three, I've got only one task, dummy, dummy eight. And I want the start and finish date of dummy eight to be driven by the start date of dummy two and the finish date of dummy Four. So, to create a hammock, as you can see, there's no logic, there's no relationship to dummy eight. So, to do that, you go to dummy two, you copy, right click and copy cell, come back to dummy eight, start date, right click, paste special, and in the space special dialog, you click paste link. You click OK. You go to dummy four, the other activity, copy the finish date. Come to dummy eight, paste special again. Paste link. And you see, and that's it. The start, the, the dummy eight now has a duration assigned to it starting from the start date of dummy two to the finish date of dummy four. Now, if you want, to, if you increase the duration of dummy four, let's say increase this to 15 days. You see, this automatically changes to 35 days and it's the finish date is aligned to this. Now, how about if you reduce, if you this change the start date for dummy two, let's do FS minus two. That's changed to 15th of May. This changes to 15th of May automatically. And that's it. Now, um, I read somewhere that for this to work well, you have to make sure that um, if the task type is fixed units. If you use fixed duration or fixed work, it behaves abnormally. I don't know why. So just watch it. Make sure your level of effort activity it's the tax type is fixed units now and that's it so the downside to this for me is um if you're looking at this schedule there's no way of telling that this activity is a hammock activity or it's a level of effort activity well there's a, technically there's a way if you look if you look at the bottom right hand corner you see like a, a black anchor you see these two black anchors here at the bottom right hand corner of the date fields. That's the way of telling that this the dates are linked, a dynamical link to other tax or external project. Also, let's say if I close this project and open it again, you get this message. So that's why you know your schedule has got linked activities. I'll say yes for now. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the only way of knowing is this, but it's for me that's uh, it's hard remembering that. Look, if this this is looking out for this small anchor at the bottom right hand corner, and here it's not even black; it's just like grey, and it's hard to see. So, well, we can in the subsea world, like during offshore installation, you've got very detailed schedule. Like you've got us. So I give an example. You've got us. A, sup a utility vessel supporting a pipeline vessel for touchdown monitoring. 
so to and normally we maintain those schedules in microsoft project so you need a hammock activity to show the start of pipe play in the, on the utility vessel section to the end of pipe play and the way we do it it's using the alternative method so it's a similar schedule um similar so the alternative method i've got similar tasks like the recommended method but this time what i'm going to do is introduce two new tasks is that finish now make these milestones indent them so i've got new summary activity so i'll make this 23. okay so what we want now we want we're looking for the start date of dummy 2 so we do that's 16 16 ss and the finish date is given by dummy 4 so that's 19 ff so now you have you have your duration you can collapse this we'll fix this bar so if you let's say we increase the duration of dummy 4 to 15 days this changes automatically we change the start date of change the start date of um, dummy 2 this also changes automatically but now here you know this is a because you've got this outline here, you know this is a summary task. So there is, you click it, you see the logic. See here, there's no logic for you to show. There's no predecessor or successor for you to know it's it's linked to any other activity. And another problem, you don't, you wouldn't know the activity is linked to this the recommended method. You wouldn't know the activity is driving this start date, except you're the one who built it. Who, or if it's well, if the schedule is well documented, if it's got notes added to it. But here it's easy, you can see that. Okay, but the only problem is it's coming out as a summary task. This is a summary task. To solve that, we add a flag. We can either use the marked flag or just use a new flag. I like using a new flag. So if we take flag one, um, you can just say go to task format, custom field, we name flag one to AMOC. and say yes okay nothing has happened but if you go back if you go to format bar styles now our task so first of all summary would it shouldn't be a summary flag one so summary this will be a summary bar style if it's not flag one you see it's disappeared if i go back to bar styles now for task so this is yeah this is normal task so if i'll add another another row um, it's not the same color of green The same shade so this time i will say flag one which is my hammock you see it now appears as a task as a normal task now for the fact that it's bold highlighted as bold you could just select the row and click and it's normal. So when you print this as PDF, yep, it appears well. And someone looking at the schedule, going to the schedule, we know that okay, it's got subtasks. And when they click the subtasks, they'll see the the tasks driving 
driving the dates of this dummy eight, and you can see it's this this task and this one. And if you come anytime you want to see which um, anytime you want to identify, if you don't want to check here, you can always add this column. So if I hide or just I won't hide them, just keep them. If you want, if someone wants to see, you could print this column. You could add this column to your PDF and it will show that it's a hammock activity. So yeah, that's me for today. You take care and see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.